I've reached in here and got the diameter. This is the minor diameter of the, the bore. There's two steps in the bore here. And they want this down to be three inches here. And we're like three inches, nine thousandths or so. The other one, the very first one here, we came in, it was like three inches, two thousandths or so. It's just water clearance. And they wanted to hold that diameter close to three inch. And then they're going to do the bore or the step for the bearing at three and an eighth. So we're going to come around to the other side here and start setting up our tool bit to bore the straight diameter. The bar has been working super great and we're really happy with it. Let me zoom you out. Alright, now let's go ahead and we'll come around to the front side here. Alright, now we've been using this angle bit here and we've extended it out. We have a little plug that we put in behind our adjustment. Now when we first started this job, let me see, are we in neutral? I drilled and tapped these two holes back here, but putting the indicator and adjusting the tool bit on this side was not comfortable to me. And then I realized that it was a lot easier to go ahead and take the mag base, set it up here like this, and then unlock our set screws and adjust it all from this side here and I can see it and everything is kosher and that's what we've been doing. Um, and, <clears throat> and so I didn't really show re-drilling and tapping these holes here but I did. I pulled the bar out again and then I put those in. Within the first couple cuts I realized it was an ideal situation so we wanted to make it ideal. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pull this bit out and we have this bit still got the nice rake for boring reaching in here pretty well flat on the front we're going into a square shoulder and the rest of this is nice clearance clearance both directions behind and uh, and around the back side or under the cutting edge all right so we put that in here and we're going to slide this back and we're pretty close they were pretty close to the same length but we're going to go ahead and drop this back down in here and get it to where we just get it inside the bore. Now I bring it out to where it touches and then I just give it a slight tension there. Now I'm able to put my indicator on here push the button set zero and now I can crank in what I want to take we, we've we found that about fifteen thousandths per pass that's 30 off the diameter and we'll be able to do this in about three or four cuts to take it to that extra eighth of an inch over there and uh, and it holds true to the bore and cuts pretty smooth now we got it out to this diameter we're gonna come and touch and then we're gonna set our travel dial and then we have a magic marker over here or sharpie mark on our bar just to give us that secondary visual to verify our run and we're touching there we're pretty close to it pull the chips away from our travel dial now they want this to be nine and a sixteenth on the depth and we make it about nine one hundred all right pop this back in here let that run until we get down to the depth there and then we'll set our travel dial at zero and we'll verify the blue mark there which should correspond it's the same tool bit the same slot same hole the same length
Okay, this is looking down into the bore of our uh, first strut here. And you can see the nice finish that we actually got. Pretty happy with the bar, the performance the bar gives me. The speed I'm actually able to bring the uh, material out of it. That material was pretty much uh, 2 200 and we moved that bore all the way out to 3 and an 8. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to pull this out. We're all finished with our struts, both of them. Got a nice measuring bore, at least with my um, inside bent spring calipers. Check both sides. The other one there, I confirmed it afterwards. These are a little bit a little bit lighter and we're gonna pour out the uh, chips that are in here okay pull out our tool bit And we'll put away our bar, oil it up and stick it in the corner. We'll pull off our supports here and vacuum up this lathe here and get back into action. We actually, since this job's been running in here, we have a few other items that are backing up in here. It, it pays to go ahead and make good tooling when you need it and not just for the job at hand but build it so that it'll be useful for another uh, project coming down the road just as my three inch has proven out in over a half a dozen to a dozen jobs over the years and uh, now I have a two inch and we'll add that to the collection and be able to put in a little bit uh, smaller items as far as the bore size not the size of the item itself but the the work needed to be done on a smaller bore we needed to make a smaller bar and now we have one all right till the next job get her done